It's the Grays. Ah, I see what she did there. Hello. Hello. It's, it's, it's been a day. It's been a day. It's, it's been a 24 it's hours. It's noon. It's been a 24 hours. Mostly for you. I feel bad for you. Listen. My job hasn't started yet. The cleaning of the poo. Listen, sometimes you buy a house and it has a bad sewage system. And it's just a problem forever. You say I never talk about religion whenever I do videos or something. Well, you're trying to be very um, all-encompassing. All-encompassing. But there's one thing that's for sure. Now we're going back to in-person everything. I I had to get a suit Mm -hmm. for the first time in two years. Correct. And so did the boy. I didn't have dress shoes up until last week. Correct. And also the boy. But to be fair, most of us weren't even wearing like real shoes in general anyway for the last few years. Most of us have been mostly naked on our bottom half. Yeah. For our Zooms and teleconferences of very various types. But or or um, the opposite where you're wearing a dress for people that wear dresses and you have your sweatpants on underneath and you're actually wearing more clothes than you would. Which I say is not a good look. It's I, I've seen it and it it's 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 not a good look. Whereas the this well, I did not personally do this, but the suit tie, suit jacket tie and like basketball shorts. Now that is almost like a cohesive look. Yeah. You if, didn't do that. If I wear a dress, then the dress is like the lazy option to me. That's the thing about, okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> Women wear basically no clothes. They can wear one piece of clothes and just throw it on, like toss it up. You know how people like like just toss the the, the pizza, the pizza uh, uh, circle dough thing and toss up in the air and it comes down, they catch it. Like that's the process of getting dressed for women. You toss a dress up in the air, you could just put yourself in the right configuration, put yourself in the right configuration and it will like fall onto you and you're like dressed. But there's, there's undergarments that make everything look nice you know, when you're wearing the dress. Not, not to take this out of- I have foregone those during the pandemic, but you've heard of Spanx, you've heard of tights, you've heard of all these things that are very uncomfortable and go under the dress. So it makes the dress look effortless, but it's a huge effort to be squished like a sausage under the dress so that it looks like you didn't even try. Let me tell you something about all that stuff. There. They're stretchy. You know what's not stretchy? A dress shirt. I. You know what would be fun? Um, a fun experiment for us. Cross dressing. For, for, for us to get you. Is um, that what you're about to suggest? I think you need to try on some spanks. It's called cross dressing. I think you need to try on a pair of spanks. You really want me to do this? I think you need to experience it because it's not stretchy. It's not as stretch. It, it, it's stretchy enough for you to wiggle into, but it's not stretchy enough for you to breathe or be comfortable. I, I think women are very soft and, you know, I can't imagine like putting on something stretchified on me and it would either stretch or rip. No, it doesn't rip. It's holding you in. It's like basically a corset. It's not. It's a Spanx. modern day corset. First have you of ever all- seen the videos of the people? Okay, so you have to look this up. It's the video. It's the advertisement where the lady will have like the big gut. Okay, and she'll pull up her Spanx and you'll just slowly see it disappear and now she's flat. But where did it go, Damon? Where did it go? It didn't disappear. It's just like squished. It's like the Spanx took it and pushed everything that's on the outside back into your organs. Push pause, push pause, push pause. Where was I? Here's the... Uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. I, you know, we've talked about it before, you know. I actually, after I had the boy, um, right afterwards, and we had to get dressed up and go out, I, I don't wear Spanx because I can't handle it. And I put a pair on, and we were in the car, and I think we had pulled out of our apartment complex before. I could not take it anymore, and I wiggled out of them in the car because I couldn't take it. Because it's so insanely uncomfortable and they go like there's different kinds you can get but there's some that will start at right above your knee and then just go all the way up to to here just under your your boobs listen i get it i'm looking forward to 
wearing a suit again. I'm looking forward to being fully dressed again. I'm looking forward to that. I, you know, I grew up in a suit. Ooh, a man in a suit. Like, nothing beats a man in a suit. But I think I'm so desensitized to it. I'm not overly impressed by men in suits. Like, I don't see you in a suit and be like, ooh, look at him all dressed up. Because I see you dressed up at least, like, three times a week. I think the before and after is where it gets you. Like, if you always saw a guy at work or whatever, and then you you see him in a suit, you know, if you only see people in suits... Yeah, he loses the... Right. The, but, like, yeah. you see me out of a suit and then in a suit, and surely I look better in a suit. Uh, you have some casual clothes that I much prefer to a suit. Should I also get tattoos in the man bun? Like, before you got bleach on that jacket of yours, your nice black jacket, I was like, ooh, every time you came home from work and you made a black jacket, I was like, ooh, look at you. I'm ready. I'm ready to go back. And also, like, we've been Zoom. You know, there's a lot of speaking. When you're JW, there's a lot of public speaking. And, like, we're kind of spoiled. Because, like, public speaking is, like, the the world's biggest fear. And... Do do we do we love it? Is it does it make us nervous? Yes, but you know, obviously, you do it your whole life, and you know, you become pretty good at public speaking. So we've been doing on Zoom and stuff. We've both done it. I think Zoom is worse. I actually would rather be on stage in front of people than on Zoom in front of people. Well, Zoom has a lot of technical aspects. Like for instance, last night, I you know, I had to speak on camera. To 100, you know, 12 people or whatever. And, well, 100, well, like 150 people. And you might have noticed, like, I had to, I paused for that like five seconds. So nervous. I was like, did he lose his place? Is right. he having a stroke? Did right. he forget how to read? Right. And, and you know, it, it wasn't a problem because there's a lot of technical issues last night. I think it's everyone's about to go back. So they're starting to forget how to be on Zoom. But what happened to you? Um, I realized my phone was on Do Not Disturb. Actually, it was on Do Not Disturb, but I couldn't. I didn't remember putting it on Do Not Disturb. So I'm like, it, which it would, it would not be a problem. You know what? It would be a problem. I'm, I don't care about little phone dings, whatever. It happens to everybody, especially on Zoom. We're in our houses, right? But I have, you know, I have this. The Pixel sounds are hello. Oh yeah. You know, and, and when it rings, it says bring, bring, like someone's voice saying. Yeah. So. I don't want someone saying hello Hi. To, du- during uh, when someone text messages me while I'm speaking. So I, I, I thought I could some I've, part of my brain told me I could multitask. But I ended up like turning off my phone, which is even more difficult on this. So like it was dead air for probably only like it's, solid five seconds. I think when you and the boy do stuff, it's more nerve wracking to me than even when I have to do it. Because when you paused... I almost peed my pants. I was like, it felt like a year. Yeah, uh, peeing pants apparently happens a lot more to women than men, as we've discussed. Yeah, but not me. Um, I have not peed my pants. Like, make recently. That clear your- no, ever. Ever. I mean, as a child. It doesn't matter. Yes, not as um, adults. The boy also, you know, well, he, he, he used to, you know, be in the hall, you know, 100 people, and he would, you know, when he was three. Yeah. And he would, you know, take the mic and say some, you know, mm-hmm. s- some thoughts, you know. Well, and he still does. And so now he does it on camera. And, you know, it might, it's probably easier for him on camera because I, like, make it so, like, he doesn't, seeing himself throws him off. Is that what happened yesterday? I couldn't even, I know he's been looking at him. No, he just wasn't. He, wasn't he was tired and he we, was. We got, he, 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 he participated and he kind of lost his train of thought. And yeah, and he rambles and he he, he pulls yeah. it together, but in a very five year old way. I got a lot of really nice messages afterward because I think people felt a little bit bad for how poorly I take it. I guess because right. at some point I think I put my head down. <laughs> he he was still going, and he was like, "And actually," and I was just like, "Yeah, I mean, you you don't have anything to do with the actual no, him I'm, commenting. I'm just next to him while it's happening. I I I I I help him with the comment, and you know." help him come up with something to say but everyone texts you because you are the one that's clearly going through well, something no it's hard to because i am obviously a bit of a helicopter 
hear it. So when I hear him struggling and he said something and I knew what he meant to say, like to bite my tongue and not just kind of whisper to him what he meant to say, it's really the, hard for me. Just to be fair, you don't know what he meant to say. I hear you guys talking. Well, and he said the lady closed her eyes. I know he meant she was praying. So anyway, um, like I can decipher uh, what he's talking I've, about. I've actually made it so that he's probably having an easier time now. And so now he's going to go back to a room full of people, a room full of masked people. And, you know, it'll be, it'll be I interesting. I was thinking about that last night because we were talking about whispering, how we can whisper. Like, we're not going to really talk a lot during the program, but we can whisper. And then I thought, well, if you're wearing a mask, whispering is super hard. I can barely understand what people are saying when they're talking at a normal volume in the mask. Like, could you imagine? Yes, that's how masks work. That's how masks that's work. Exactly. <laughs> he told me, uh, the boy told me, uh, he, I was making fun of him, I was teasing him. He was holding my nose in my mouth, and I told him I couldn't breathe. And he said, we can just breathe through our eyes. And then he showed me how he did it. So if you ever have trouble, feel like you can't breathe with your mask on, because people say, just breathe through your eyes. That's all you got to do. I'm doing it right now. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It's the grace. It's the grace. <laughs>